Hello, I'm Evgeny Extricat, and I recently found one of the craziest Minecraft servers I'd ever been on. It was a geography themed server where you could start your own country and invade and annex other countries' territories. It was a really goofy concept that I was sure wouldn't exist ever again, but as it turns out, I was wrong about that. It turns out there's a small community of geography themed Minecraft servers, with the biggest and oldest one usually being considered to be EarthMC. So today I wanted to check out the EarthMC server, because what you're seeing in the background right now is not like a pretty accurate view of the satellite Earth. Instead, no, this is a Minecraft server that recreated the Earth at a 1 to 500 scale. This means there's even more detail, even more uh, accuracy to the Earth with even more area to explore, which is why you can see there's many more political boundaries, many more cities, towns, etc. Uh, and it's really interesting because this kind of acts like a social experiment. And not the sort of social experiment where you kiss your sister for YouTube years, the sort of social experiment where you give people a you know map of the world and you let them make their own boundaries for towns, cities, and then countries, and you see what they do. And as it turns out, you get a pretty close to accurate view of how the real life uh, earth does work. So for instance, looking at Europe, there's a bunch of different towns and cities very uh, you know, closely packed across the entire continent with a lot of different countries all in the same area. Also, uh, the UK has invaded Ireland again, so you know, bad UK for that, but again, accurate view of what happened in the real world. Then you can see like, okay, what's going on with the US? Oh yeah, big population centers on both the coasts and then a few in the midway, but for the most part, it's just like sparsely populated and then lots of stuff on both the coasts. You'll see the same thing happens when we look got Australia for instance, oh yeah, all around the coast this stuff, and then in the middle there's pretty much nothing, and it's crazy just how accurate this is to real life, partly because people are building from real life, but it's also the sort of thing that makes me just have to go and check it out. So today we're going on earthmc.net and we're seeing what it's all about. So this is EarthMC, or rather this is the queue to get into the server EarthMC because it is a very, very busy server, especially recently. There's a lot of people joining it and therefore it takes some time to get in. So we'll just have to wait a little bit. Also, for some reason, there's a giant Pepe the Frog. <laughs> and Pepe the Frog is built just a little way out from the center. So yeah, you can either buy priority or you can do some parkour and get to Pepe. Sure, why not? So yeah, this queue is seriously long. I'm a hundred plus people into it, so we might be here for a while, I guess. Might as well do some more parkour. Well, that didn't go well. It's the first server I've been into where you can die in the lobby, so that's like interesting by itself. So I just asked someone in chat how long the line usually takes, and the answer was the queue takes two hours lamal. So uh, yeah, we might be here for a while because I am the fake toy cat. <laughs> Wait, maybe this is useful. If you ever do meet me on a server somewhere and I say I'm me, then it's definitely not. I always pretend I'm a fake person. Uh, it's, it's just easier that way. Um. <laughs> Position 99. Yeah, we're in the double digits now. Just a little bit to go. You can't leave, by the way. Uh, if you go AFK, you get kicked. So you have to like actively sit here for two hours and wait. So that's that's great fun. So I'm now ranked 85th, which is good progress, right? But you can also see there's a few people getting suspicious of Toy Cat in there, like, that ain't Toy Cat, or like, uh, you know, like, you, you see a lot of messages in here, Toy Cat is fake. Uh, you, 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 there's lots of stuff. So yeah, it looks like I joined the server at the wrong time. So I finally spawned into the world. I have no idea where I am, but I'm officially playing FMC. There was a long, long uh, wait to get here, so I'm gonna have to make the most of this. We have resistance, so we're probably near a beacon, or maybe we're just in some neutral zone where we're protected. Uh, and yeah, the cool thing about this is if we need to know where we are, uh, instead of just like guessing based on this or trying to make a map or whatever, what we can instead do... So there's so many people playing on this server that it's sometimes hard to pinpoint exactly where you are, especially when you see how many towns there are in Great Britain, for instance, like there's so much going on there. But it seems as though I've spawned in a random plot somewhat near uh, Lithuania, or Vilnius in Lithuania, as well as Grodno. So I guess we'll check out Lithuania first. I mean, makes the most sense to me at least. Okay, so I finally found my first country. This is Lithuania. It's a small town. Uh, oh, it's meant to be their capital, but it's a, it's a pretty small town. But even here you can see there's a lot that's been done in just this one place. We've got those nice cobblestone stairs that everyone loves leading up to a giant furnace field up there. And then we've got this rather nice house, which I'll just assume is their capital house today. So yeah, the cool thing about uh, this being Lithuania is we're right near the edge of Lithuania. We should be able to hop from here to another country in not too long. So let's, uh, let's get a feel for how long this is. So looking at the map, you can get a feel for what's actually nearby. You can see how like uh, all of Lithuania is set up into different towns, which are surrounded by lots of, uh, again, parts of a country which doesn't have a name, it seems. Uh, but yeah, like this is suspiciously close how, you know, look, 
It's literally at the edge of one is right into the other. So there's lots of countries next to other nearby countries here, which is interesting. I assume maybe they're independent towns because they're a different color. But yeah, over here, we then have Arensburg, which is a pretty huge settlement, probably the biggest one nearby. And so you see this one, which is Blockful, and that's the place I want to be going. It's somewhat near Tarlin. Oh, the Tarlin's just this sad little... <laughs> Tarlin just like, seems to be one sad building. Oh, it seems as though I've been invited to join Gdansk, so... Let's go there, I guess. I'm worried that there's only one time you can accept somewhere. Oh, and Central Inca as well. So yeah, the plan is to just accept an invitation to go to Gdansk. Again, I love Gdansk and or Danzig. And now we can just T-spawn. But here I am in Gdansk. Look at that. Oh, there's a nice Polish flag here. Because it is a part of Poland now. I guess it's probably offensive that I call it Danzig. They invite me into their home and then I call it the former German name. What a great friend I am. But yeah, this is Gdansk. We got two giant... Lion statues. It took a few seconds. I was like big dogs, but like actually these are really impressive lions Like they're two pretty ugly blocks by themselves, but they combine pretty well if nothing else But yeah, look how developed Poland is on the server This is just one of their cities, you know one of their port cities too, but you can see just how big this place is It's got a giant lighthouse some giant statues. Uh, we got like a whole town slash city going on over here it's pretty impressive given that to actually start something, you need 64 gold. That's like the minimum requirement. And then they gathered all these resources and then got all of this stuff going on. It's it's pretty impressive, right? So I've had requests to join New York, which is apparently the best city. So let's try and head over to New York. Different continent, but everyone is saying you got to join there. And I worry that it's like a troll or something. Oh, the maximum number of residents is reached. There is 50 people in New York, which I mean... When you scale that down to a Minecraft server with just a couple hundred people, that's a huge number. So something interesting I've spotted because uh, it's kind of interesting that I'm in Gdansk right now, which is very much Poland. Good job, Poland. But then I looked a little bit to the west and Szczecin, I can't say that like it's it's too many characters in a slightly hard order. But uh, the Polish city of Szczecin uh, is actually Danish. And this is a, an interesting reverse of the last place we we're on because it means it means Dan uh, Denmark is not only independent and existing, but they've also gone pretty far down. They've got Hamburg, it looks like they've got uh, they've got a few different cities they probably shouldn't have a hold off and this makes me need to check out uh their capital copenhagen look at the size of this thing let's go to copenhagen right now apparently copenhagen does not have its doors open to everyone ask the mayor or an assistant to join well apparently that's that's a tricky thing well let's let's go to another danish city so i found mamo sweden it's not danish but they have a direct bridge over to copenhagen so let's sneak in via the back door there's some <laughs> Real world analogy to all of that. Okay, Mamo is also not open to everyone. So yeah, technically I'm in Denmark right now. All I have to do is catch a boat from here to here, this little uh, Polish island, and then from there over to Sweden, and then from there I can cross into Denmark. Have you ever been on a server where you've had to traverse like half of Europe? This is, this is honestly my first time. Gonna be an experience, I guess. So we're in the wilderness where apparently PvP is accurate, uh, activated. So as long as these people don't catch me, I should be fine. There are some people who uh, like feel a bit curious about having YouTubers on the server because obviously when you've got a queuing system, you don't want people to know about the server. So uh, I, I just have to hope they can't catch up with me. <laughs> I think it'd be a fun little story if like somewhere in Europe, there was just a little Polish island. Oh yeah, the guy the guy wants me dead. The guy, oh, it's called death penalty. The guy, the name is literally death penalty. But I managed to escape that one just about okay. He's swimming after me. Okay, we finally made it after a long voyage with a lot of people who want to kill me to Sweden, it seems. So, welcome to Sweden. Look how nice it is here. I can't be killed in Sweden. Try. Try and kill me, guys. Yeah, yeah, that's that's all you can do to me. And apparently Sweden's message is sub to PewDiePie, unsub to T-Series. I mean, can't argue with that, right? I mean, that's, that's like the number one thing people do in Sweden, right? I mean, watch PewDiePie videos and... Don't watch T-Series videos. So. so it's worth noting that Mamo is a pretty small Swedish city. I think it's like actually the third largest in Sweden, but it's well separated from the rest of Sweden, both in real life and probably on this server, actually. Let's, let's find out. Yeah, looking at the server, you can see how most of Sweden's like all the way up there. There's Stockholm. There's it's like more northern cities. Oh no, that's Norland. So yeah, there's, there's like a few cities over here, but Mamo is just very separated and it's basically Denmark. Again, that's that's something you should not say to Swedish people, but it's something that has like a little bit of truth, right? Like, I mean... It's right next to Denmark, and you can get there faster than you can from Sweden. Therefore, is it Sweden or is it Denmark? That's the question we have to raise. But rather than getting all philosophical about it, let's go into Copenhagen. This is one of the biggest cities in Europe, apparently. And uh, yeah, I don't know if you can tell that. This is a pretty impressive little place. Uh, a little laggy place as it loads in. But like, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> also, um, someone said in the chat that Somalia will shelter me. That's, that's great. 
Yeah, they really want me dead. I'm, I'm not sure. Oh, maybe they don't want me dead. Maybe this is friendly. Maybe they're going to give my stuff back. Hey, yeah, here we go. Thank you, friend. Oh, I can't pick up the stuff. But yeah, this city is absolutely huge. Like, look how big this thing is. There's even, they built a floating city in the sky. This is, this is Copenhagen in the year 2100. We've gone back to the feudal system, which sucks. But on the other hand, we built a sky island, so that's nice. Like, look at the, the, the beauty of this creation. Like, they, they tore a giant hole in the center of Copenhagen to have a river below their sky city. What is the point of that, you might argue? I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure, but it's beautiful to look at. And yeah, just in general, this is a nice little uh, city. Oh, here's the crazy thing. They actually have a railway system connecting up their capital to like other parts of it. That's a nice little touch. That's a fun little detail. So we're gonna go to the Never on this server just to see what it is because on the other server it was blank. Maybe the Never has some role in this, like takes you to the moon, takes you to, okay, the Never doesn't have a role. Someone just made a portal just because they thought it looked nice. Again, I mean, Pretty, pretty anticlimactic end to an otherwise beautiful city. Like, look at the beauty of this Copenhagen. Compare it to the one from the last server, and you'll realize that uh, we found ourselves a winner with uh, with Denmark right here. And that's before you start to realize there's a huge town attached where people live and build their own little houses. It's cool stuff. And they even built a metro. As well, like, as well as the above ground train system, you know, the S trains or whatever. They got some metro trains as well. And again, I think that's a fun... Oh, never mind. It's blocked up. This is the saddest metro station I've ever been in. It's <laughs> Let's wait for the trains to come. Oh, it's going to be about five years while they build the tunnel. You know, I'm patient. I can wait. It turns out that this train system, I've been following it for quite some time now, it connects all of Denmark together. Like, is Denmark just the best place? Oh, and it's not just the train system. It's a boat system as well. Oh, yeah. It's a boat away. I didn't realize this was... Oh, it's a boat away that ends. The moment I realize it's a boat away, it stops being one. So that took me all the way down to Hamburg, just to show you how long of a train ride that was on the map. Like, look at it right here. We went all the way from Copenhagen down to Hamburg. From there, all the way to here. I'm not Toy Cat now, apparently, for some reason. But still, that's pretty good. We could probably traverse Europe in not too long if it's only that far across. So I guess my next challenge is to try and get into uh, the UK. And uh, although right now I'm in the EU, you know, I could get there by legitimate means. I don't think they're going to accept me in there. So I guess what I'm saying is we're going to try and smuggle ourselves into the UK on a little bit of a boat. So I'm heading in the direction of the UK now, and I'm curious to, you know, see how long it is from Denmark to the UK in a Minecraft boat. This is our first proper true long distance. You know, this is a very, uh, even though it's 1 to 500 scale, that still means there's a lot of blocks that have to be traversed. How long is it going to take? Let's find out as we go past this giant plus sign that someone made in the ocean. You know, this is nice. They built their own little island. That's a good idea. We should just build our own better UK. So I found something that I wasn't necessarily expecting on the way to the UK, and that is the city of Atlantis. The lost city of Atlantis is a real thing in the server, and I think that's crazy cool. I love the fact that <laughs> this server is not just limited to like, oh yeah, past countries, future countries, maybe even fictional countries, but no, you can make your own land down below the seabed in a random place east of the UK. Like, this is where sea land should be, but instead of sea land, we have the lost city of Atlantis, and that's crazy. Look at the scale of this thing. This is an impressive build by itself. Like, to do something this big involving glass, because it requires so many sponges, right? But to work on something this big would already be impressive, but to do it in a multiplayer server and be successful with it, this is a pretty good little country right here. So yeah, this is the lost city of Atlantis. We found it, so now it's the, uh, the found city of Atlantis, if you will. So I finally found some land, and it looks as though it's either Carlisle in Britain or it's Newcastle. Uh, maybe it's like... Yeah, it looks like it's the edge of the, uh, you know, Newcastle we've just found right here. Or we can head to Carlisle if we want to. But still, we've made it to the UK. Now we have to see if we get stopped by the border force. It looks like they've came out on a boat to meet me. If I just sneak into his boat, then he can take me to where we need to be. This is, this is how most border force situations go. As long as you offer them a boat ride, they'll let you into their country legally. Uh, that, that is how the system works. So this is one of the most northernmost towns in England, or in the game, it's just a town in Britannia. Again, uh, UK has got some problems with conquering all the things around it. I get it, guys. It's a, it's a problem we have every now and then, even on Minecraft servers. But yeah, in this particular case, uh, we, we can walk straight over the border in Scotland. I feel like, you know, that has to be a place worth checking out. We need to see London, but first, we'll get a feel for the regions, you know. The parts of the UK that aren't quite as good as London. You know it's true if you live in one of them. So Glasgow is to the left, Aberdeen is to the right. I'm not sure what map 
leads to that being the situation. But I'm going to follow the UK flag this way and see where it takes me. Oh, there's a, so there is a rail system going through the UK. And I think it's accurate because Carlisle is on the UK's north-south rail system, or at least the east coast one. So now we just need to find a, a minecart and we're good. That is easier said than done, apparently. So here you can see the case of the confused identity of Scotland. Like, is it a country or is it a part of the UK? Uh, yes, is the answer to both those things. Um, but you can see it very interestingly here where like, <laughs> we go back and forth between like Scottish flags and British flags all the time. Oh, what is this thing? Is this a cathedral? Like, if it's to scale, I mean, it's obviously a lot more than to scale. So it, because this is a 500 to one Minecraft server, I'm not mistaken, every single block represents 500 meters. So this is a roughly 20 kilometer tall <laughs> cathedral entrance. Like, This is a door for giants. This is taller than any structure on earth by a factor of, you know, like more than 10. And I kind of want to see what's on the inside. Okay, so they're flattening out and making a town inside the cathedral maybe. I'm not sure what I think of this. There is so much time sunk into this. You have to think it's amazing. Like, the seeing this much effort is always so cool. But also seeing this much effort is always like, oh god. So much time, man. So much time. Now we're in the city of Dumfries, which is one of the most southernmost towns in Scotland. Again, it's one of those places I've always been curious about because it's very different to the rest of Scotland. I would love to go sometime. If you're from Dumfries, hit me up. Give me a, give me a way to get there. A boat? A magic. Oh, it has like a, the way in and out of the city is like a proper giant gate. And again, there's UK flags there. Make things a bit more confusing. Oh, it's, I think they just kicked me out of the city. Like I wanted to go out anyway, but the fact that I just got teleported out here, I feel, I feel like that's a little bit rude because there's a giant wall here. I assume it's Hadrian's wall that uh, is trying to keep me out. However, unlike Hadrian's wall, they forgot to make it tall enough to stop people just climbing over. So now I'm back in Scotland. What are you going to do about that? Like, it's funny, when you want to leave somewhere, it's like, oh, I can't wait for the exit. When you're kicked out somewhere, you're like, no, let me back in there, Scotland. And it looks like they've done that, so let's go back over the wall. So this is Liverpool. It looks like it's been hit by a bomb, so pretty accurate to real life, I would say. Um... <laughs> then we've got a pretty nice looking castle over here. I'm not sure what it would be if it's south of Liverpool, but I guess we can find out. Again, it's really interesting that, like, anyone can, like, name their towns, as long as it's, like, allied to the right country and it makes some sense then it's there. And now it looks like we've just entered Camelot again. Very much real place. I'm just so tempted to climb the tower. I don't even need to. I don't even care that much about Camelot as a fictional place. But I think it's cool that they, they made Camelot inside Minecraft. You know, I'll be honest, having someone throw diamonds at me is an experience I would like to see more. So yeah, there's a there's a few people that don't like YouTubers because again, brings more people to the server. But there's a few people who are nice about it. Thank you for the potions, Mr. Victini. I secretly want to attack him just to see if the sword works, but that might be rude. Should we do it once? Okay, it doesn't work. I was very rude. I don't know how this happened, but there's some weird shrine from... Uh, it just says hacks in there somewhere, so... We got some Latin-based shrine, I assume, going on here. Don't know if that's an okay thing on a server, but apparently it is. I think I accidentally went a bit too far south. I think I found Brighton or one of the other, like, southbound... Uh, you know, seaside towns in the UK. Isn't that nice? So I was secretly wondering when I'd know I'd hit London, but I think we're there. I have the slightest suspicion that maybe we're in London right now. What, what do you guys think? Do you think Big Ben and the House of Parliament and like, I assume some of the other landmarks. Do you think, do you think that means we're in London? It's hard to be sure, isn't it? Oh, there's, they've built new little restaurants and a chilling coffee bar. Isn't that crazy? It's one gold for a complete meal. I have to know what you get when you pay a gold here. So if we want this to be the true London experience, then what we have to do is first of all complain about the price being way too high for any reasonable person, and then we're going to pay for it. Bathroom M-W. These are nice little toilets. This is a nice restaurant. Oh, they've even got, they've got like a sea turtle display in the restaurant. That's actually a really cool build idea. Like, I don't know how you buy food here. Like, maybe we just go into the kitchen. We could not go into the kitchen. Maybe we just wait at the bar and... See if someone serves us eventually. That is also not a good idea. So yeah, here's another crazy thing. Because it's just such a crazy developed part of the world, they even have a store where you can buy any item off them at any time. So again, I don't know if this is just one of the places to do it, or if it's like a private store or something. But this is this is crazy to see. Very, very interesting. Should we buy some things? Let's buy some birch logs. Yeah, it looks like you can just buy any of these items. There's even like a weird GUI for it. 
Should we just buy our own little house then? Oh yeah, so this definitely isn't the game store because they don't have enough glowstone to sell me. But this is crazy that like, it's a thing you can do. You can just build a giant shop in the middle of your city if you want to make some money from like people popping in to say hi. That's crazy. That is really crazy. So yeah, London, pretty, pretty wild city I would say. It's big, not quite as big as I was perhaps anticipating, but like big in the scale of like, it's big, <laughs> like tall. Uh, again, if you want to convert that scale into real life, Big Ben is like 30 kilometers tall. Half of Big Ben is in space, which again actually matches real life quite well there. And yeah, now we know that uh, London is big, both in real life and in the game. Now I've seen my city, it's mostly about like seeing what else is on the server just as a curiosity. Oh yeah, there is more to London. It isn't, it's just there's like a big central place. But beyond that, there are way more houses, shops, and stuff like that. But let's look at the rest of the world and let's see what there is around there by trying to join some random towns until somewhere accepts me. So yeah, if you recall, someone said that Somalia was always willing to like uh, shelter me from the rest of the world. So we could go to Magadishu. Magadishu? That's not a bad idea. Let's go to let's go to Magadishu. I do not, okay, I cannot join Magadishu. No matter how bad I want to. See, and I don't really want to go across the Atlantic on a boat either. I feel like that's not going to be a fun journey. Like, it took so long to go from Denmark to the UK on the server. I feel like crossing the Atlantic that way, not a great idea. Going to Africa on a boat, again, I'm a British person. They're going to they're gonna have some questions about that. So instead, I guess what we'll do is we'll just try and find any town that looks at me. So here's another reminder of the fact that this server is just absolutely bonkers. Between the English Channel and France, uh, you know, between England and France, there is just a floating island and someone's built a nice little fortress on there. So there's no easy way to teleport across the Atlantic, it seems. However, I do have a person who's gotten in the boat. And I guess the plan here is he's going to take us over there. And it might take some time, but we can look at the map while this happens. So while we go on a boat ride to the Americas, one of the traditional ways of getting there, let's look at the map and you can see just what a journey this is. It's taken me this long to get to this point, just off France over there. Uh, and we need to get all the way past, you know, the mid-Atlantic islands, like the Transatlantica. We need to get past all these islands and we need to make it to Newfoundland, which is the closest part of Canada or North America to the UK and it's still so far. Look at this journey. We're moving so slow Because <laughs> the earth is really big fun fact There's a reason that we generally use planes to get around it and not Minecraft boats Oh, we found our first thing in the journey again. This is some absurdly long journey, but it looks like we've just found Something over there. Oh, yeah, here we go. Look at this. We've got ourselves a furnace city Is this Transatlantica? Did someone just build a bunch of furnaces and call that a city? It looks like they did. Let's let's check it out, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so there's a few people when they cross the Atlantic, they find this along the way, and you get messages like, needs more coal, needs slight size increase. What a delight, till next time. Very cool. <laughs> this is the this is the craziest thing to find. Welcome to the world's first furnace island. You know, what? this is the world's first furnace island. I don't know why this was made, but I am glad this exists. So that was nice. Although there is two boats at this island. So one person came here and then never left, which is a little spooky. But yeah, let's get in this boat and let's go. Off to America. I really can't stress what a long journey it is to get to America. <laughs> like, we've made it here now. This journey to cross the Atlantic is going to be like almost as long as getting into the server by itself. But we do have Transatlantica to look forward to in another 10 to 20 minutes. <laughs> if that. Oh, we seem to have come across a giant ice wall. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what this is here for, but I guess we should get on it. See, I really hope this is the right way. But, oh god, oh god, this is hard. This this is not easy. Oh gosh. <laughs> is this is this meant to be here? I'm not, I'm not actually sure. Okay, so as it turns out, this is a thing that I think was just put there now, or maybe we only just found it. But there is a way across the Atlantic, if you're willing to uh, go for a little bit of trickiness. There is a nice little ice road there. This is like the invention of the steamship. Like, the the difference in speed we're going at. But besides, rather than going like, oh yeah, a little nudge every minute or so, we're like, every few seconds we're making another click across. And yeah, I, this is a reminder, like, it it sometimes is uh, lost on me just how far away, like, the East Coast of America is from, what, you know, Western Europe. But it's quite a lot of ocean in between the two. And wh fun fact, when you fly across it, there's like a, if the plane has an engine failure, it's like, well, you're three hours from the nearest airport in Greenland most of the time. So hopefully seeing this represented in Minecraft is a good reminder of just how far you really have to go between the two places. 
since we're doing PSAs anyway, I guess we should also remind you that like, oh yeah, as it turns out, riding ice boats is really tricky. Unless you get the perfect angle right away, you're probably not going to get it eventually. Oh god. We can do this, we can do this. Oh, no we're not, no we can't. <laughs> There's so many boats lost along the way here. Oh god. This reminds me a bit of the uh, the Bojack Horseman episode where they build a uh, a bridge to Hawaii. And, you know, it's kind of like a ridiculous thing. But yeah, at the same time, would be quite fun to go across. Oh, yep. So yeah, because the ice highway was just built by random strangers over, I don't know how long this must have taken them. There's just some people who put like detours here. Like, why would you do this? Why, why would you do this? To Europe left, to America right. You know, the more, I, the more I'm on this highway, the more I think this really is such a fun idea. Like, why haven't we gone on this yet? Like, it would cost billions, untold billions, trillions, no doubt. But wouldn't it be such a goofy thing? I guess you wouldn't be able to make it a highway for cars because, like, there's no way off the highway. You could make, like, a train link between the, you know, the UK and North America, or even just, like, France and North America, like, the shortest point, wherever that is. All you need to do is have guardrails like this, and all of a sudden... Okay, ne never mind. But some nice, friendly guardrails, and suddenly everything works much better. Okay, so it might have taken literally just under half an hour, but we've crossed the world. We've gone from Europe to North America. So just to convert that to real time, because we're going 500 times as fast as we should be, that should have taken 250 hours, or 11 days. So I guess that's like pretty accurate for a boat trip from Europe to North America, right? That, that sounds about right. There's a sign as soon as we get here saying PP Island is this way, and who can resist a place with a name like PP Island? Like, we went on such a long boat trip, I'm happy to see anything at this point, so let's see what PP Island is. You know, I don't know what I expected from PP Island, but you can see how it looks a little bit like a PP, but it's also quite nice otherwise. They got some crops, they got some stuff, and uh, they pride themselves on being the most autistic people on Earth MC. And if you want to join PP Island, they have their own Discord. I I don't know how I feel about this as, as a whole. Like, it's just... <laughs> what is this? PP Island National Monument, the PP. I can't even be mad about that, right? You can't, e you can't even be mad. You just have to say, good job, PP Island. Good job. So the nearest actual town that isn't just PP Island, which again, be beautiful place, whatever, uh, is actually uh, Nova Scotia, just over there. I don't know how far away it actually is. Like, after that Atlantic crossing, everything seems close. So we'll see how long it takes us to go to Nova Scotia. But yeah, even though Newfoundland is a pretty uh, sparsely populated place in real life, it actually has a lot of like forts and buildings in the Minecraft recreation, so that's nice. I'm getting pretty excited for New York City now. Like, after this huge journey, it better be worth it. Like, people are willing to cross that ice highway just to see this huge city that's so full that you can't even join it. Let's see what the scoop is. So yeah, this is Nova Scotia. It's, it's a shame that the, there's not enough like Canadian provinces represented on the server. Uh, you know, we need more Canadians on Earth MC, clearly. Uh, Canada shall, ro shall rise again, I imagine. But yeah, you can see there's a pretty nice castle here, actually. Like, even for a pretty small place in the scale of Earth MC, you can see, like, the fact that this is small shows how big everything else is, because this is still a pretty impressive Minecraft build, right? Like, uh, you know, it's, it's missing a lot, but the fact that it's here is pretty good. So yeah, if we want to, we can actually go via land from here to New York. You can see it's not actually that far. At least it doesn't look too far. But then when you look at the actual like coordinates, it's like, oh, that's like 2,000 blocks away. So we've got another long boat ride up ahead, it seems. I found the cookie monster, and he's looking at me in a very suspicious way. I do not like that at all. So after another 10 to 15 minutes of sailing, it looks like we've reached the United States of America. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I could tell by looking at the map, but apparently you don't need to look at the map to know you're in America. I mean, that's true for Americans too, right? But yeah, we are now in the United States, and we're in, uh, I think it's Plymouth Rock right now, but we need to get to Boston, which is a little further up north, because that's the, the first major city in the area. So let's go take a look. So this right here is Boston, it seems. Let's go see what it's all about. Let's see what they have to offer a roaming cat that's trying to see most of the world. We have some pretty big skyscrapers, and then next to the skyscrapers, there's this one right here that's just like, work in progress. There'll be a skyscraper there soon, don't worry about it. Oh, they have one of these nice little maps showing where you are on their town and what there is to see, etc. 
that's pretty cool too. And I think there might be a railway going south, or a road, I mean. Whichever one of the two it is, let's go see what that's all about. And let's also... Yeah, this this looks like it's a pretty in-progress city. Like, on the map it looked pretty big, but in person it looks like some bad things have happened here. And again, I mean, I, I, I was gonna make a joke like, exactly like real life, but I like Boston in real life. It's one of my favorite American cities. As a pro tip, just, you know, in case you're there and you're thinking like, oh yeah, I'd like to go to America one day, but where? I always recommend if you want to go to like Little Europe, but in America, yeah, Boston is just like Europe, but in disguise. Like it's, it could be a European city if someone didn't tell you you were using the US dollar and you know, there were US flags everywhere. Like besides those two things, it is just a European city. So yeah, it looks like I took the wrong pathway and I'm going through the woods now instead. So let's see what rural Massachusetts and or upstate New York is all about. And the answer apparently is while it's in the dark, Pretty much nothing. <laughs> There's very little going on here. Except a super fun, cool house for cool kids fun. I think I'm being lured in by a pedophile, but you know, it would be interesting, so let's check it out. Cool fun house for Dusty, Ada, and Hectagon. So, I mean, I could steal some stuff from them, but I'd rather do the opposite. I'll, I'll put some stuff in their pockets, see how they like that, see if they get confused by the birch that shows up. Oh, they have a bunch of birch already. I guess therefore, because I gave them birch, it's okay to take some of their birch. Not stealing, because they basically lured me in with pedophile, like, media. I'm really doing them a favor by not reporting them to the police. Which I assume is a thing that exists on this server somewhere. So go me. NYC or bust. Hey, someone else has done the exact same journey as me. I feel a bit like I'm a... I felt like I'm a pilgrim going on an adventure. It's actually pretty cool. So let's see what's over here. There are so many random houses in the woods in upstate New York. Is that like, again, representative of the real place? I'm not sure. But they've got a community farm. They've got a community house where you can just stay as long as you like. They've got dining tables. They've got beds. They've got a basement, apparently. Again, actually not. A little bit scary over here. I'm going to leave. Anywhere with a basement is not somewhere I'd like to be. Just as we head out of the woods, we find ourselves... Some giant cathedral of some form. Nice. So I've lost track of where I am on the map. Either that or I've been removed from the map. I'm now invisible. So instead, the way I get to find out what's going on is we just kind of play it by ear. We see when New York pops up and then we'll know we're there. So welcome to what I assume has to be the outskirts of New York City. This is the part of the map everyone was telling me was most impressive. And we've got big US flags everywhere. Check one. We got skyscrapers. Check two. All we need now is an obnoxious district where it's just skyscrapers endlessly. And probably like Central Park. We find those two things, we'll know we're in New York. Yeah, we're in 2nd Avenue, Manhattan. This is Manhattan Island. It's meant to be the most impressive part of the world, according to people I asked. And you know, actually, I, I think I agree with that. This is crazy. They've got like traffic lights. They've got like the actual intersections on each street. There's a lot going on here. It's in progress in some places. But look at the size of some of these towers. Look at what they've done here. This is so absurd. Yeah, I can't get over just the, how big New York City really is on this server. And again, this has to be all hand built. This isn't creative. You can buy blocks, but every block is hand placed. And a bunch of people just came together and were like, you know, we need to make New York a big city because that's how it be in real life. And I think that's crazy absurd. Uh, just as a fun fact before we end the video, I learned this from uh, some Americans I met in Japan, but New York City is such a big city that if you took Brooklyn away from New York, New York City would still be the first biggest city, and Brooklyn would be the second biggest city in America. Like, it's it's that big a city compared to the rest of the US. And now you know that, yeah, there's, there's a reason as to why that's a thing. So yeah, I had a lot of fun visiting the service today. I would love to spend some more time here in the future, and that's a thing we might do. And also I learned today that the map from this server is actually downloadable by anyone. So I figured, you're keeping that in mind, even though it's a Java map, why not convert it over to Bedrock, and why not use it as the basis for our next Realm project? So if you want to play this sort of map, but you don't want to join the Java server, either because, like, you know, the, you don't want to, like, join in the queue and do all that stuff, or you don't want to, like, uh, interrupt the server, or you just don't have Java, I will be putting it on my Realm in the next few days, and we'll be running the next Realm experiment with an Earth-sized map. Is that a good idea? I honestly don't know, but I guess we'll find out in a few days when that server starts. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed seeing a little bit of the Earth inside Minecraft. We only got to go from Poland, I guess, from Lap uh, Lithuania to Poland to Denmark to the UK, over to the US and Canada. 
but the world is so big that seeing more of it on foot without teleports is really hard. But I had a blast regardless. I hope you did too. And I look forward to seeing you in the next Realm Experiment and or any other future geography videos because I love that there's just a subcategory of servers that are like this. And uh, yeah, I think this one's definitely the most interesting one I've been on. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.